Dear brothers and sisters, let us enter into the Holy of Holies. Let us enter to worship our Lord. Let us enter into the Holy of Holies to honor, to adore our Lord. Let us open our hearts to invite Jesus into our lives, into our hearts, into our families as we sing this entrance hymn. again this evening along with myriads of myriads thousands of thousands angels and holy souls we come to adore you we enter into this most beautiful moments as we come to adore you we enter into this moment of grace and blessing to have a personal Christ encounter with you Lord Jesus, we pray that these moments become moments of grace and blessing. Speak to us this evening. Inspire our hearts with your holy word. Touch us with your wounded healing hands. 
come to comfort us come to wipe away our tears strengthen our faith strengthen our hope as we are in your presence lord jesus we pray that during this half an hour time that we are going to spend with you we may get answers to the many questions that we have in our minds lord your word says in letter to the romans chapter 10 verse 17 so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of god lord as we are going to listen to your word this moment speak to us personally increase our faith may your word comfort us may your word encourage us may your word guide us in our pathway that we may reach heaven that we may live a life that is faithful lord speak lord speak to us through your holy word as we listen to you a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew now when they had departed behold an angel of the lord appeared to joseph in a dream and said rise take the child and his mother and flee to egypt and remain there till i tell you for herod is about to search for the child to destroy him and he rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed to egypt and remained there until the death of herod this was to fulfill what the lord has spoken by the prophet out of egypt have i called my son then herod when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men was in a furious rage and he sent and killed all the male children in bethlehem and in all that region who were 2 years old or under according to the time which he had ascertained from the wise men then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet jeremiah a voice was heard in rama wailing and loud lamentation rachel weeping for her children she refused to be consoled because they were no more but when herod died behold an angel of the lord appeared in a dream to joseph in egypt saying rise take the child and his mother and go to the land of israel for those who thought the child's life are dead and he rose and took the child and his mother and went to the land of israel but when he heard that Archelaus reigned over Judea in place of his father Herod. He was afraid to go there, and being warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that what was spoken by the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarene. brothers and sisters we continue to meditate and pray with the infancy narrative of jesus as recorded by saint matthew the birth of jesus is indeed a moment of joy for the whole world but it was also an occasion of great sorrow for many mothers in bethlehem because of the cruelty of herod herod due to his insecurity feelings due to his fear due to his pride so to kill jesus and in that attempt to kill jesus he massacred so many innocent children in that small little town of bethlehem how the evil one how the enemy of our soul devil tricked herod 
in such an act of violence we read in the gospel that he was in a furious rage that furious rage made him to commit this heinous crime of killing innocent children because he was afraid of losing his throne that beautiful town of bethlehem that beautiful city of bethlehem the birthplace of jesus turned to be also the burial place for so many innocent children because of one man's selfishness and pride and sin dear brothers and sisters in fact this crime is being continued in the world even today the most secure place for any child is a mother's womb but we know in the world every day thousands and lakhs of children are aborted in their own mother's wombs for a moment of selfishness for a moment of personal advantage many choose to kill their children in the mother's womb today as we are in the presence of jesus just as we feel sad and upset when we read that children were massacred in bethlehem let us feel the same pain and sadness in our hearts for the sin of abortion that is widespread all across the world during these days of corona our government and our officials are counting the number of infected people and number of deaths there are many agencies tracking the numbers god is tracking the number of people who are killed in their mother's wombs how many children have not seen the light of this world the beauty of god's creation because of the selfishness of someone because of the selfishness of a few people let us pray for god's mercy today for all such moments we become like herod for our selfishness for our pride for our security we take away life we suppress life we hinder life lord be merciful to us be merciful to our world which has not recognized this sin our governments our authorities have passed rules and regulations that abortion has made lawful in our own country and in many other countries with the beautiful name of mtp medical termination of pregnancy so many children are killed in their own mother's womb Lord be merciful to us for us for our sins Lord cleanse us help us to repent dear brother dear sister if ever this sin has come in your life if ever you have given a silent permission to such a sin in your family in your friend circle let us repent before God that we have committed a sin of taking the life that God has given there is no excuse there is no reason for justifying this sin life is a precious gift of God and we have no right to take it away lord we come before you with a repentant heart sorry for all such times that we have failed to adhere to your commandments God of mercy and compassion look with pity upon us look with pity upon every person who has fallen into this sin in their ignorance being tricked by the evil one God of mercy and compassion look with pity upon our world cleanse us purify us we seek your mercy and compassion God of mercy and compassion 
Look with pity upon me Father, let me call thee Father This thy child returns to thee God of mercy God of mercy and compassion Look with pity upon me Father, let me call thee Father This thy child returns to thee And Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy Let me know, implore in Since I now detest them, never will I sin again. Lord Jesus, I ask for mercy. And Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me now implore and wait all my sins. I now detest them, never will I sin again. Look, never will I sin again, never will I sin again. Look, never will I sin again, never will I sin again. again. St. Paul, writing to Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, we read, Have this mind among yourselves, which was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Dear brothers and sisters, our God humbled himself, made himself so small, and was born one like us as a man. And when he came to this earth, he was not born in a palace. He was born in a manger, in a cattle shed. I believe all of us, we would have been born maybe in a hospital or in our own houses. None would be born in a cattle shed. But our Savior, in order to identify with the poorest of the poor, identified himself by being born in a cattle shed in a manger. And we just now heard that soon after his birth, his parents, Joseph and Mary, had to run away to Egypt in fear, in confusion, to rescue their child. Jesus lived as a refugee in Egypt. These days we hear Lord of Refugee camps. We hear about so many people fleeing their homeland. Here is Christ fleeing to save his life with his parents and lived as a refugee in Egypt. He came back to Nazareth and lived in again poverty as son of a carpenter. Dear brothers and sisters, there are moments we feel there is no one who understands our pain. There are moments we feel I'm all alone in this world. In all such moments, Christ stands ahead of us and says, My child, I have gone before you. I have walked this path before you. There is not a pain that we go through which Jesus did not go through. 
during his lifetime. We have a high priest who has walked our path, who can, who can feel our pain. Jesus became a man and born among us and lived among us and identified himself with us. Let us learn that lesson of humility from Christ. Let us be encouraged that Jesus walked before us and in every such moments of our trials, every such moments of our pain, Jesus is there to strengthen us. My brother, my sister, are you feeling lonely today? Are you feeling burdened today? Look at Jesus. He has walked that path of pain and suffering before you to comfort you, to strengthen you. Let us find our hope in Christ. In Christ alone, we can find our hope. When you find your hope in Christ, there you will experience strength. There you will experience the light of Christ. There you will find refuge. We read in the book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 4, Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Let us place all our hope in Him. In Christ alone is my hope. As we sing this hymn, let us surrender all our pain and burdens at the feet of Jesus and receive that joy and hope and light Christ gives to us. In Christ alone my hope is found He is my light, my strength, my song This cornerstone, the solid ground Fun through the fiercest drought and storm What heights of love, what depths of peace Where fears are stilled, when striving cease My comforter, my all in all Here in the love of Christ I stand In Christ alone, who took on flesh Fullness of God in helpless pain this gift of love and righteousness Scorned by the ones He came to save Till on that cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on Him was laid Dear brothers and sisters, our blessed mother, the mother of Jesus, was born here on this earth by a special grace of God without original sin. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and said, Hail, full of grace. Mary is full of grace. Mary is favored by the Lord, specially chosen by the Lord. But when we read the infancy narrative, every time heaven has to give a direction to the Holy Family, we see an angel came and gave direction, instruction to Saint Joseph. It was to St. Joseph, the angel appeared in a dream and said, Take Mary and the child and flee to Egypt. It was to St. Joseph that the angel said, Now come back to Nazareth. Angel always give instruction to St. Joseph. Why not Mary? Mary being the chosen one. Mary being a woman without original sin. Mary being the mother of Jesus, why was she not given? Dear brothers and sisters, 
when we read through the scriptures we see there is a divine pattern for a family there is a divine order for every family where the man is placed as a head of the family we read in the letter to the ephesians chapter 5 verse 21 and the following be subject to one another out of reverence for christ wives be subject to your husband as to the lord for the husband is a head of the wife as christ is the head of the church his body and is himself its savior as the church is subject to christ so let wives also be subject in everything to their husbands husbands love your wives as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her that he might sanctify her again we read st peter writing first peter chapter 3 verse 1 to 7 likewise you wives be submissive to your husbands so that some though they do not obey the word may be won without a word by the behavior of their wives likewise you husbands live considerately with your wives dear brothers and sisters the scripture is inviting to live in accordance with god's design for family where husband is placed as a head of the family and thus every divine intervention was given through saint joseph in a family where these roles are misplaced where there is no order there is bound to be problems and difficulties husbands are to love their wives as christ loved the church let this order come into our own families today let's pray for our families in a very special way as we are reflecting and hearing about the way the holy family was if there is any discord in our families today as we are in the presence of jesus let's pray for healing let us not become men and women of the world letter to the romans chapter 12 verse 2 says this do not be conformed to the patterns of this world but be renewed but be transformed through the renewal of your hearts let us live god's pattern in our lives let us learn to respect each other we pray for peace in our families today joy in our families today if you have hurt each other let us make a wish to reconcile to say a word of sorry how often for a moment of ego for a moment of selfish pride we have destroyed our families lord jesus as we are in your presence we pray for this grace that we may be reconciled that there may be peace and joy in our families let us surrender our children let us surrender every intention of our family and pray for god's mercy to flow into our families let there be real peace and joy in our families we shall sing that beautiful hymn lord make me an instrument of your peace as we sing this hymn let us pray that the peace and joy of the lord may fall into our lives lord make me an instrument of your peace where there is hatred let me so love where there is injury pardon where there is doubt faith where there is despair hope where there is darkness light where there is sadness joy
Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon. channel of your peace where there's despair in life let me bring hope where there is darkness only light and where there's sadness ever joy oh master grant that I may So much to be consoled as to console To be understood as to understand To be loved as to love with all my soul Make me a channel of your peace Where there hatred let me bring your love where there is injury your pardon Lord. and where there's doubt true faith in you dear brothers let us continue to pray for all our intentions but especially for our own families as we take our evening prayer today's evening prayer is from Psalter week 1 Friday if you have your everyday prayer book page number 447 447 join us in praying along with the whole church for all the intentions of the church and our own personal intentions as we pray the Psalms Lord Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil. Will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land. And will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name be forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They will weigh up evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend in whom I trusted, who yet my bread has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more and I will pay the, repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend, if my foes do not shout in triumph over me. If you uphold me, I shall be unharmed, as I dear in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us our refuge and strength. Our helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. Even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city. The holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come consider the works of the Lord. The redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. Supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you. For your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. Let us place before the Lord all our intentions and prayers as we join with the whole church this evening. Our response shall be, Father, May we find rest in your love. Father, may we find rest in your love. God is our loving Father who cares for us and knows all our needs. With confidence we pray. Father, may we find rest in your love. Christ, your Son, suffered and died for the church. Be with all Christians who are suffering tonight. Father, may we find rest in your love. Bring to the sick your comfort and healing. Strengthen them through the victory of Calvary. Father, Father may we find rest in your love. Be near to us, Almighty Father, for you alone can save us from the evils that threaten us. Father, Father may we find rest in your love. Strengthen us in the hour of death. Let us know your peace. Father, may we find rest in your love. Bring the dead into your light. Comfort them with your presence. Father, may we find rest in your love. Lord Jesus, this evening as we are in your presence, we want to pray for all our brothers and sisters who joined us in praying, participating in this Eucharistic adoration. We bring their personal intention this moment, Lord, bless them. May they experience the care of the Father, the divine touch of the Savior. We pray to the Lord. Father, Father may we find rest in your love. Lord, we pray for the people who are suffering on account of poverty. Lord, we believe that you are generous and your kindness never fails. Lord, as we believe in you, as we trust in your providence, Lord, inspire the people, those who possess the wealth and ample of goods with them. May they come forward to share with the fellow beings so that everyone may share the gifts which are given to the humanity. For this grace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may we find rest in your love. Lord Jesus, today we want to very specially pray for all those who are sick, those who are hospitalized, 
those who are in pain, physical pain. Lord, we pray for your healing upon them. Touch them with your wounded healing hands. We read again and again in the scriptures that you healed so many people. Lord, be merciful to our brothers and sisters who are sick. We place everyone who sent their prayer request for physical healing. Lord, be merciful to them that they may experience your healing power in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Father, Father may, may we find rest in your love. Dear brothers and sisters, let us place all our intentions, your personal intentions, your family, your children, your business, your concerns, your friends, your dear and near ones, all those who ask for prayer support, we place all of them at the feet of the Lord. And we pray as we are concluding this time of adoration for a special anointing of the Holy Spirit. O Holy Spirit, the promise of Jesus, the helper sent from the Father, come to strengthen us, come to rekindle that fire within us, we need you, Holy Spirit. We want you, Holy Spirit. We invite you, Holy Spirit, into our lives, into our families, into our communities, into our church, into our parish. Come and dwell and lead us to Jesus. Holy Spirit, come in power. Change my heart. I want to live for you. My God, let your spirit come in power, change my life, that I may live for you, my Lord. Holy Spirit, come in power, change my heart, I want to live for you, my God. Let your spirit come in power, change my life, that I may live for you, my Lord. Fall on us, Lord. Let us all worship together. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, fill us with your love. Come, Holy Spirit, transform Come, our lives. Spirit, Come, Holy Spirit, to lead us to Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit, to give us the light of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, Holy Spirit, to lead us into all truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you, Holy Spirit. We praise you, Holy Spirit. We honor you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We sum up all our prayers and petitions with that beautiful prayer. Jesus himself taught us, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead, lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. all evil. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament has left to us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we beseech you, so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may feel within ourselves the fruits of your redemption, you who live and reign forever and ever. O sacrament, most Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, 
blessed be his most precious blood blessed be jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete blessed be the great mother of god mary most holy blessed be her holy and immaculate conception blessed be her glorious assumption blessed be the name of mary virgin and mother blessed be saint joseph her most chaste spouse blessed be god in his angels and in his saints amen